No one knew what to make of Rex when he showed up at your school. He was a cold, mean delinquent, covered in tattoos. He has no issue laying anyone out who messes with him. And there's a running comment in school. Rex means king. And he is the king of being terrifying. Still, he's never hurt you. He's made you sit on his lap. He's flustered you. He's always got an insult or two. But tonight, he stood up to a wild animal for you after the school bus trip forgot you both. He took a blow to the head and now you're alone with him. He took a blow to the head and now you are alone with him, praying for rescue, while your bully slowly loses consciousness in your arms. A car pulled over, but was it too late? You sit at Rex's side in the hospital, still shaking with adrenaline as a doctor looks him over. Hmm, well, he doesn't seem to have a concussion, but he did take a serious blow to the head. It would have fractured his skull if he'd been hit any harder. Has he ever had an injury like this before? You aren't sure, but it's likely. Hmm. Are you his partner? You really shouldn't have any of his friends here. You lie and say he is your partner. Ah, okay, well, it's nice that he has someone, but, uh, between you and I, I've, I've dealt with his mother plenty of times before, and I'm sure she's on her way. Or not. Who knows with that woman? Point is, I'm fairly sure she'll be belligerently drunk, and I don't want you to be caught in any incidents. Young love. Fine. I'll let security know. We'll probably have a code Miranda here for long. But I'll, I'll give you some time with him. You take Rex's hand and rub your thumb over his palm. He rumbles and stirs slightly. <clears throat> hey. <clears throat> Don't call the dog back just yet. Be real with me. Yeah? Am I dead? He throws an arm over his eyes with a sharp... Ah, oh, fuck! Yeah, yeah. I'm glad you think me being alive is a good thing. Ah, oh, I'm gonna have to deal with Miranda. You should leave before that happens. Just gonna be a fucking fight again. Oh, what? What do you mean you ain't going nowhere? Are you crazy? You want to watch a grown man argue with his alcoholic ma parental unit? No, I ain't having it. You get that hot little ass of yours home and I'll see you at school, got it? You stand up, literally, and then stand up to him, figuratively. God damn it, don't you argue with me. Fuck it. You grab him by his collar and yank him forward into a kiss. Mm. Mm. He tenses, unresponsive as you pull away, and just as unreadable. You kissed me? Are you insane? Did that bear knock some brain out of you too? How do you do that shit ever again? You don't want that. You don't want me. You're better than that. Got it? You're going to throw your life away for what? Someone he kissed in the heat of the damn moment. Yeah, I know. I have the right to fucking say what you want, but... It's not me, okay? I can tell you what I want in this instant, because you are trying to convince me to let you chug poison. You want me to be okay with you fucking wasting everything good about you? I'm fucking garbage like me. Do you hear me? The doctor rushes back in, startled. What is with the shouting? We're having a little spat, you fucking mind. The doctor sighs and rubs his brow. I swear to God, Rex. Every goddamn time. I'm sorry, 
I think you need to leave. I can't have him becoming any more belligerent, especially with a head injury. Oh, don't start that shit, dog. I didn't do nothing wrong. I'm sorry, Rex, but we've talked about this before. You need to leave so we can treat him, all right? Fine. I'll see you in school. Get home safe, all right? You head out from the hospital, still shaking with adrenaline. At least he's okay, you think. People have been giving you funny looks since you returned, whispering among themselves. When you hear people gasp and quiet, you know exactly why. Hey! You turn and see him towering over you, unreadable. What are you clown surprised I'm alive? Think I can't square up with a bear? Or do all you have so little to do that talking about us kissing is all you can do to keep entertained? The quiet is telling. You fuckers think that was even a real kiss, huh? I was out of it. I wasn't even trying. He turns back to you and the intensity of his eyes almost makes you melt. Poppy, you're going to regret making me fall in love with you. Because now, you're mine. You're mine. He doesn't give you time to react. He pins you to the locker in a rough, passionate kiss. You reach up to embrace him, but he pins your hand by your head. <laughs> you keep those little hands right by your head here, yeah? I ain't done kissing the life out of you. <laughs> Can't talk, huh? Good. I don't feel like listening to that smart mouth tell me off. And if you try, I'll keep fucking kissing you till we both get sent to detention. You blink a few times. There's no way he's smiling at you. Hey. Here. Take. Roses. Hospital roses, but fuck it. Thanks for not leaving me to die, I guess. Now give me a number. Good. Friday, 7pm. I'm taking you out to dinner. Dress like you want me to be hungry for you instead. Got it? Shouldn't be hard for you. Maybe don't dress too sexy, yeah? Won't be able to control myself. Fancy restaurant or not. Oh yeah, one sec. He digs in his jacket for a moment before producing an envelope. Yeah, it's an envelope. Open it, you fucking popsicle. You look at the card within, and two tickets to prom wink from within. Uh-huh, prom tickets, all paid. We'll get a limo. Maybe fuck it up a little. <laughs> now you should probably get your book so you can scurry to class here in two seconds. People hurry off after staring at the two of you for a bit longer, leaving both of you alone. He turns to leave, but you stop him. Hmm? Why am I doing this after trying to convince you that you should stay away? He ponders this for a moment before hitting you again with that devious, sexy smirk. I'm a massive hypocrite, apparently. Not for anything else besides you, but whatever. Now, get your ass to class. I don't want to have to threaten a teacher after taking a hit from a bear. With that, he winks and heads off. Your body shakes with more adrenaline and you honestly have no idea if you're elated or terrified.